Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first video of 2018. I really hope you had a very nice New Year celebration and I wish you all the best for this year. And as my first video, I thought it would be cool to show you a tour of my cake room so you can see where all the cake magic happens. And I also have some cake tool storage ideas or organization ideas for you and I really hope you like them. So let's continue with the video. So I want to start this tour in the kitchen area of this space because that's where basically the cake magic starts by baking something sweet and delicious and over in this corner I have my aprons I just bought two wooden rolling pins that looked cute and I saw them in half so as you can see these are some special looking um, or cute looking rolling pins and I screw them into the wall so it is like a DIY apron hanger instead of using a regular coat hanger for my aprons and then moving on to this corner I guess you recognize this from my tutorials these are some cute spatulas that I just bought for decoration purposes because I think they're just too cute to really use although I use this one a lot in my recipe tutorials and then moving on to my drawers this is just a drawer with a bunch of plates and bowls that I also use for my tutorials. Um, not very exciting to see, but this is worth mentioning. This is just the cutest cup I have ever seen. It looks like a mirror glaze or a drip cake or something of that sort. And I just had to order it because it looked super, super cute and fancy. So yeah, that's my first drawer. Moving on to my second drawer. Here I have like a few bins filled with powdered sugar, granulated sugar, flour, cocoa powder, and a lot of ingredients that I need for baking my cakes. And my cakes are baked in this oven. And I got this as a birthday present for my parents and my sister. Um, I don't know if you notice it, but in a few of my tutorials, this is just an empty space because I just have this oven for a month right now and I'm really happy with it. I have two ovens in my normal kitchen downstairs that I used before I had this oven, so I'm really happy with it. I don't have to run up and down the stairs anymore. Um, in here I just have some cooling racks for my cakes and some um, towels that I use to, dra to drape over my cakes when they're cooling down. And I also have some cute donut coasters. I have this drawer just filled with some attachment for my mixers, um, a cooking plate, I think it's called and some cutting boards, not very exciting as well. And um, in here I have the spatulas that I do use and I found these super cute and tiny spatulas last weekend and they're so cute. I just had to buy them. I don't know when I'm going to use it but I just couldn't resist it. They're so tiny. And yeah, I have a thing for pink, as you might have noticed by now. Here is a cake tester with a cupcake on top. I just love cute stuff. And I also have, I think they're forks, no spoons, with some cupcakes. And here I have my pellet knives. I have them in different sizes and different shapes. And I also have some... Um, ice cream scoops this is a small one and I also have a larger one and I use these for mini cupcakes and normal cupcakes so all my batter is evenly distributed 
and in here I have some day stickers to label all my products I have some uh, sprinkles and like things like vanilla bean paste and stuff so that's in this drawer moving on to the next here are all my uh, measuring spoons and I have a lot of them in different sizes and um, yeah not very exciting as well but you do need them when you're baking because yeah baking is a science and you need to measure all things precisely that's why I also have these um, measuring scales and I have this in a rose gold color and marble because as you notice I like matching all my stuff together and this is an organization tip for you guys I stored all my piping tips in lipstick containers let me just take this one out so as you can see all my piping tips are in here or no, not all of them but a few and they're stored neatly in the lipstick containers and I also have a larger one right here for all my larger piping tips like the Wilton 1M and these are just smaller ones this is the Wilton piping tip number one for example and yeah I have my hand mixer in here as well so this is a very nice way to store all of your piping tips without having to search for them in a big box or something and over in this drawer I have my mixing bowls that are used for these two guys that I can't live without and I really love these mixers and yeah I also have some larger mixing bowls in here for uh, storing buttercream and such so that's it for the kitchen area so moving on to this side of the room it's super bright right now this is my window area and I have a pegboard that I just painted in a color that matches this pegboard right here in like a dark green and I have some um, cake dividers scissors piping bags stored here so whenever I need one I can just rip one off and this is super handy I found this on wish just let me take one food coloring off this is a spice rack this is something you can glue onto your cake board or a cabinet not a cake board I mean a pegboard or a cabinet and it will hold your spices but I just use them for my food coloring because it fit perfectly and yeah I have a few of them stored on top of each other and here is like a this is actually a display rack for your pictures for your picture frames but I use this this to store my other um, food coloring and here I have uh, display racks for actually for um, your photo frames but I use them to display all of my food colorings and here I have some luster dust and I also have a box filled with different colors of luster dust and a super super tiny spoon that I use to scoop them out of there and down here I have even more luster dust and also luster dust like gold and silver that I have mixed with some food grade alcohol and I just store them in these containers these are actually containers to store your cream or something in but I just use them for my luster dust so they don't dry out and I don't waste my luster powder and over here I have three containers three acrylic containers for all my fondant tools and I just sorted them by uh, sort so I have all my ball tools together all my brushes together the wide ones the medium ones and the fine tipped ones and here I have some pins that I use uh, to poke holes with in my fondant if I have any air bubbles and this is just a container that I use to store my craft knife and measuring tape and the tools that I just need to have on hand immediately so I use this tool to cut my dowels my 
leveler and this is actually a makeup brush cl cleaner but I use this to clean all my brushes that I use for cakes so don't use this for makeup and then for cakes just buy a separate one because it's not hygienic and here are all my extra knives for if my craft knife becomes blunt and over here I have something that I found online as well this is actually for painters they store all their different kinds of brushes in here but I used this for my edible food pens so I uh, sorted them by color so whenever I need a black one I know I ha just have to grab this one and they're all just neatly sorted and organized and they just fit perfectly inside this so over here this is the table that i make all my cakes on just a white uh, table it's actually just a table top and i have some cabinets underneath that as you can see and i'll be addressing that later but first we're going to the sides here i have my powdered sugar bins and i just have them in a rack that i attach to the side of my cabinet and here is, are my cake levelers I have them hanging on a coat rack as you can see like or a single coat hanger and this is super awesome you guys this is from Wilton it is a cake leveler with a serrated edge so it just slides th through your cakes like butter and this is really necessary for having your cakes straight and perfect every time and over here are my rolling pins I have three of them and um, this is actually something that is used for hanging up your bicycle but I just screw them onto the side of my cabinet so they could hold my rolling pins nice and easy and yeah out of the way so they don't roll anywhere else so over here on the left side of my table I have a cabinet from IKEA that I use to elevate the tabletop and this is where I store all of my fondant and I sorted them by color so I don't have to search for the right color and to maximize the space of one uh, opening I used a divider so I could have four spaces in one so I have my red fondant orange yellow uh, nude color and so forth so these is this is my fondant storage and here I have my food grade alcohol, Crisco, candy melt, piping gel in these cute rose gold bins. And yeah, I don't like searching for all of my stuff, so I'd like to keep them neatly together. And here I have a container with my wooden dowels. And I also have plastic dowels in here and some skewers. And here are just some drawers filled with smoothers and stuff. I label them all on the front so I know exactly what's in them. So now we're moving on to the other side and here is my pasta roller. I really love using this when I'm making decorations or ruffles or something because then I know that all of my fondant is the same thickness. So if you're doubting to invest in a puzzle roller please do so because it will just make your life easier and faster so then moving on to the right side of my table in here i have my candy melt and this is just in a bin this this is just something i haven't used set yet but if i have used some candy melt i would store them in these ziploc bags so they don't use up a lot of space so as you can see it's flat <laughs> and you can store it easily like this and yeah i have my um, cake pop sticks in here in a glass container and in here i have my cake pop holders my macaron mats and my airbrush sets i use a lot of bins to store all my products so they're all just sort it neatly and over here are some things that I use to clean and disinfect my work area and my workspace so I have stored them 
also in something cute and my cleaning towels my gloves are stored in this um, tissue container actually but I just use them for my uh, gloves so I can pick one out of there whenever I need one and over here I have some extra ingredients like Oreos chocolate nuts um, baking spray baking powder baking paper and this is something that is very handy as well I have a document holder but I use it to store all of my uh, Ziploc bags in so whenever I need one I just take out my document holder and they're all in there neatly stacked yeah and that's it for the right side of my table not super exciting but maybe you saw something that you can use for your own storage and then we're moving on to a very exciting cabinet for me and I really really love something that looks super organized so here I have like an IKEA shelf rack I think it's called so over here I have some boxes with some extra silicone baking pans 3d baking pans and some flower essentials in here I store like a flower drying rack and that sort of stuff and here is my shelf rack and this is actually glass but I don't like fingerprints and everything on my shelves because then it immediately looks dirty and I really don't like that so I just use some contact paper in a marble print and a rose gold copper color so I could just immediately bring some life into this otherwise boring cabinet over here are all of my cake boards organized by size and this is actually something that is used to store your plates inside your kitchen cabinets but I thought it was perfect to store all of my cake boards and I also use the same plate rack to store all of my cake scrapers so I have all different kinds different sizes different lengths and I all store them here so again I don't have to search for them and they're all neatly organized and I also have a plate rack to store all of my acrylic cake boards by size moving down here are all of my baking tins and as you can see these are neatly stored as well and I used this divider that is actually used to divide all of your pans inside your kitchen cabinets and you can adjust the setting to make this part smaller or wider and this is the widest setting that I have and I also use them for my square baking pans and my cupcake tins and down here I have another plate rack that I use to store these mats that I use when I'm making sugar flowers and I don't want my fondant to dry yet I will store them in this and now I also have them neatly stacked together and over here are just some glass containers that I use to store my cutters my flower cutters and other tools that I need to make sugar flowers like stamens and uh, veiners and just wires and stuff so moving on to my desk here is where I edit all of my YouTube videos that I make for you guys here is my planner and I use this clipboard to clip on the planning of the week whenever I have cake uh, orders I just like to plan out my whole week uh, in steps so I don't forget anything and I don't stress out and here I store important letters and um, notebooks and stuff like that and I use this to hang on my door whenever I'm filming a tutorial and my kids are at home so they know they can disturb me just yet and this is something super cute as well I found it on Etsy they're um, mason jars that are painted rose gold and pink and I really love it they have different kinds of colors as well and I just use it to store my pens in it and as you can see 
I have two printers, a white one that is a regular printer and a black one that is the food printer. So I also have storage bins that I use to store my um, frosting sheets so they don't dry out and my edible ink is also in there so um, that doesn't get mixed up with the ink of my regular printer. I forgot to show you this super cool cushion that I have, Boss Lady, that also matches all of the colors in my office. And over here I have another shelf rack with a lot of baking books. I really like looking inside of them and just trying out new recipes, seeing new flavor combinations and stuff like that. And here I have two cardboard boxes that I use to store my silicone molds that I don't use that often but still need for some cake projects. And over here is a wooden box that I painted in the same color as my pegboards and I put some labels on them. So, for example, these are some embossers. And uh, yeah, whenever I need some tools or cutters, I know where to find them because they're all labeled. And over here I have some more glass containers with some alphabet cutters or stamps. And over here, just let me slide this to the side so you can see it. This is a storage container that is used to store your remote controls. It has four um, sections. And I use this to store my uh, tappet cutters by font. So if I want to use this font, I just take it all out together and I tied it up with unused hair ribbons. So don't use used hair ribbons, just get some clean ones and tie them all together. And um, so this way, if you store it like this, it doesn't get cluttered. And down here I have another wooden box with some cutters and silicone molds that I use more often. And here I have another remote control container that I use to store all of my silicone mats that are used for making edible lace or just my silicone mats that I use to bake uh, macarons on or uh, meringues or something like that. And over here I have another plate rack that I use to store other kinds of molds that are used for fondant, impression molds, onlay molds, uh, stencils and stuff like that. So they're all separated but all stacked neatly and I can easily find the one that I need. So when I was decorating this space I also needed something for all of my camera stands and this is what I use to store them. This is actually a wine rack for wine bottles but I use the holes to store all of my camera uh, stands and microphone and everything in here so it's easily accessible but it also looks cute. And over here is my microwave and on top of that I have some serving trays and I actually use them uh, to store my fondant decorations whenever I'm making cakes. Um, I make some decorations ahead of time and this way I can store them out of the way. And then we have cake fridge number one and cake fridge number two with some turntables on top of them. And here I have a pegboard with a lot of fondant cutters. And these are the cutters that I use more often, so they're easily accessible and they're bunched up together by sort. And over here I have my camera stand that is screwed onto my ceiling and I use this for filming um, my tutorials from the top. And this is actually a selfie stick that my dad made into a camera stand and I just love that he's super handy and can make stuff like this for me and here I have a white and a black curtain and I can just pull them down and use them as a backdrop for my pictures whenever I have a cake order or I want to make a picture as a thumbnail for YouTube videos I can just use this as a blank 
backdrop. So that's it for today's video you guys. I really hope you liked seeing my cake room and I also hope I could have helped you with some organization tips for all your stuff. And uh, yeah, as usual, I will be uploading new videos every Thursday. And if you'd like to see more of these videos and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just click on that button down below or click on my face somewhere in the screen right now. And if you'd like to be notified every time that I upload a new video, please hit that notification bell as well. And yeah, I hope to see you again next Thursday. And I wish you a very nice week, you guys. Bye-bye.